Praise him, praise him, praise him, my brothers and sisters. This is Sister Judy coming to you. And tonight we are still on the topic of praying. And tonight we are going to look at James 5, verse 16. I want to look at verse 16, but we can go ahead and read all of it. Confess your fault one to another and pray one for another that he may be healed the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much we are going to focus on these two word effectual and fervent prayer what it mean let's pray father we thank you for grace we thank you for mercies we thank you, O oh God, for who you are. We thank you for revealing your revelation to us. And as you reveal it to us, Father, we can take it to those that you, O oh God, are seeking to go higher. We give you praise, God. We give you glory. We exalt you. We extol you. And we say thanks in your mighty, precious name. Thank you, my brothers and sisters. We are going to be looking at the word effective and fervent prayer, what it means. You see, as I was reading this scripture the other day, the Lord began, the Holy Spirit began to expound this verse. And as I started to listen to it, it was really, really, really something that moved my spirit and I said you know what I'm gonna make a video so this was a teaching that Holy Spirit started to tell me first of all Holy Spirit wanted me to look at the word effectual first and also break it down into effect and then go down into effectual and as I started to listen to Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit started to say to me, when a prayer is effectual, there must be an effect, meaning there must be a result or a consequent or an action from that prayer. And as Holy Spirit begins to expound effectual unto me this is why sometimes we hear the lord is saying to us we need to come up higher we need to come up higher because if our prayers are going to be effectual your prayer can only be effectual when you are when you have the authority to pray at a certain level now most time I speak of authority authority is given when you reach a certain level or a certain dimension or you're in a certain dimension with God and because of what we are facing right now for us to be, for our prayers to be effective, we need to be in the third dimension. Because we wrestle not against flesh and blood, brothers and sisters, but we wrestle against principality, powers, rulers, wickedness in high places. And those spirits are right at the second dimension, at the highest level, which we would call the sixth level. Because in each dimension, there is three level. Now, when Holy Spirit started to show, Holy Spirit started to expound it to me, I realized for something to be effective, it must leave an effect on you. And whatsoever affect you, you feel it. And you get the understanding what is happening. 
So when we are praying, effect you all. As I said before, one must be at the level that they are praying so your prayer can be effective to produce the effective of what we are praying about or a result or a consequent of an action. Not because we know how to pray or put words together and open our mouth to speak doesn't mean our prayers have any effect on the situation. Because we do not have, if we do not have the legal right or the authority to pray against certain things, in the, in the spirit, our prayers now are like an empty barrel that is making so much noise. But it's not hitting the target that we are praying about. And the reason why it's not hitting the target, it's because we are not at the level that we are supposed to be. And as Holy Spirit begins to show it to me, Holy Spirit started to say to me, Break it down. I'm going to break it down like in nursing department where we have the PSW, the RPN, and the RN. You have some PSW that could work as an RN. They know what they're doing. But for them to be effective or effective, they need to climb up into that level so their work does not go unnoticed and it does not bring a result. So here is God trying to say now, we're at a time where we need to climb up into the third dimension where our prayers can become effective so it has a result so we can move things out that are blocking, that are stopping, and that we have access to the courts of heaven where we can put the petition in so that the Lord can order the angels once our petition is made to go out and fight. And our behalf. You see, a lot of people are using words, but they are not, they do not have the legal right to pray the way they are praying. So we see nothing getting move in the spirit realm. Now, the reason why the Lord is telling us now we need to do these things. A lot of us has been handed grace from the Lord. And let me explain grace. Grace, this is why you have the court of grace. Because most time, a gatekeeper has to go in the court of grace on behalf of people who are not at that level to ask for grace. Now, grace is when you are in a situation that you really say grace is a form of a miracle. You don't deserve it. You don't deserve the help. You don't deserve the protection. You don't deserve whatsoever situation that you're facing. But God in his infinite in his infinite moment looked down and said okay I'm going to hand grace unto this person so whatsoever situation you're in at that time even though 
you did not deserve it. Because of God's grace, it's like you get a form of miracle to carry on. Now, once that grace is handed to you, whether it's for a moment, whether it's for a hour, whether it's for a month, whether it's for a year, whether it's for a time, God will tell you what you need to do. And what you need to do is because the Almighty God knows that there is another situation coming. And he's setting you up now that you will be able to understand it and to go through it without God handing you grace. Because he's not going to hand you grace all the time. So when your grace period, once God tells you what to do, he gives you a grace period before you are faced with another situation that you will have to fight that for yourself. I want you all to understand what I'm saying. So you need to be obedient and do what the Lord is telling you to do. Most time a grace period is handed when you're at a level that something higher is fighting you. And in that situation, you have to go higher to be able to take that situation down. So the Lord is training us now because he wants us to go up into the third dimension. A lot of people are not in the third dimension. And they are really praying some prayers. But I want you to know when you are under the second dimension and you are praying above your means. Because you don't have the legal right to pray the way you are praying. The enemy just catch your prayer. So it doesn't go anywhere. We need to listen. We need to obey what God is saying to us. And we need to do it. We need to walk in obedience and do what the Almighty God is telling us to do. You see, I, I, even when I was, I, I was doing the court of grace and the Lord started to show me what is going on. I, I was just looking at when Joshua went to fight and they lost the battle. That, that scripture is really resting on me from the other day. Joshua did not lose the battle because they did not fight well. They lost the battle because of disobedience. They could not go to the level that they were supposed to go because there was sin in the camp. And we all know when the sin was in the camp, what happened. I think I talked about it on the video before this one. Because we are going up now against the tribunal spirits that is connected to the ancestral spirits. And you can only fight that spirit if you're above it. Because that spirit stand in at the level six. And most of you, most people now are at about level five, five and a half. And God is trying to move us into the third dimension. You must be in the third dimension to be able to stand up against this spirit. You must be above it. You cannot be below it and you want to fight it, people. This is, what, this is where God is at now. And for a long time, God has been handing us grace. But God is trying to say grace period is coming to a close. And a lot of us are going to lose some battle that we were supposed to win. Because of sin in the camp. And because of when we do things and God is showing us. We are not listening when God said remove this. Confess. 
burn things down, take things out that is not of his. We rebel and we won't listen. This thing has been resting on me very hard from the other day. And that's when the Lord began to show me why a lot of people pray and they get no result. Because their prayer is not effect. And you can only have effect. Effect work when you have authority. Then you become effective. And, and once you become a f- effective, then things are going to be affected. So this is where now we have to ask ourselves. It's not how loud we can pray. It's not how we put word together. That has nothing to do with it, my brothers and sister. We need to be at the right place with God. We need to be obedient. We need to move up into the third dimension so our prayers can become effectual and fervent. If you understand that word, it's more like when Jeremiah said, I feel like I'm not going to speak, but I have to speak because I feel like fire is shut up within my bones. Because when something is fervent, it becomes intense. And things can only be intense when you have gone through it, when you have felt it. And even though sometimes you said you're going to be quiet, the more you try to be quiet is the more you speak. Because if you notice a lot of time I make video, I said, that's it, the last one. But every time I just feel like something is shut up in me, especially on these prior thing that I'm teaching you. Because whatsoever you hear, I pray, or I'm teaching you, it's something I've gone through or it's something I'm going through. And most time I wait until I've gone through it so I understand it. Your prayers can only be effective to be effectual as you walk in obedience according to the will of God. And you must have authority. So when you pray, these effectual prayer things are authorized. According to the will of God. This is all I'm going to be saying on this effectual and fervent prayer. Ask yourself. Father, am I standing at the right place to be praying prayers that I am not at the level to pray? Search me, Father. Come down in the chambers of my soul and show me what I need to do. But not only show me, but let me be obedient that when you speak, I will do what I want to do so I don't become a rag doll in the hands of Satan. Because I'm telling you, once your grace period is over, Satan is going to have you like a punching bag if you do not listen and do what God is telling you to do. And I'm telling you, a whole lot of grace period is coming to an end. That's what the Lord said to me today. So God bless you all, my brothers and sisters. God keep you. This is Sister Judy. I see this word with the ring of Yeshua HaMashiach. I seal it with the blood of the Lamb. God bless you all. God keep you and I hope we surrender and obey and do what the Almighty is asking of us. God bless you. God bless you.